Happy Friday, Chris Rolf here with uh, Boulder SEO Marketing. Welcome to today's Friday SEO tip. Let me make that screen here a little bit smaller. Um, so I want to talk about title links today. Uh, if you haven't heard about title links yet, uh, do not fear. Google used to call them title tags, but they now call them title links. So basically, when you do a Google search, you'll see these snippets here. And as part of a snippet, you'll see a title link. Let me quickly show you an example. Let's do an incognito search here. Um, Let's do international SEO expert. Uh, I enjoy to speak globally about international multilingual SEO. So when you do a search for international SEO expert, Google will show these Google ads on top here. And then right there, the first organic search re uh, result is linked to my personal website. So basically this is now a the title link, right? Because when you click on here, it'll take you to the about page where you can learn about me and my international SEO experience. So this is the title link. I'll show you later in this video uh, where this content resides on the back end of the website. But basically, the goal of creating optimized title links is that Google exactly one for one shows what you put on the back end of your website. So, in this case, uh, international SEO expert and consultant, Pipe Meet Chris Ralph. So, that's the title link. All right. Um, I'm going to put the link to this article from Google Search Central into the description below in this YouTube video. But basically, uh, let me quickly go over the best practices for influencing titling so that Google exactly displays what you put on the back end of your website. So basically, make sure uh, you know every page has a title element. Uh, most people, or many people use WordPress, so you're probably using an SEO plugin and I'll show you uh, the backend of our website. So I'll show you exactly where this content goes. Then please write for humans, not for machines. So a descriptive and concise title link. Um, you want to stay between 50 and 60 characters uh, for that content. Avoid keyword stuffing. Don't just put in uh, your target SEO keywords. Again, write for humans, not for the machines. Avoid repeated or boilerplate text. Um, when we talk with potential new customers, we often see that uh, they have the same content on many, many pages. A great way to check that is to head over to SE Ranking, do a website audit, uh, check out your crawled pages. So that's an inventory of the pages of the, uh, the Boulder SE Marketing website. And basically right here, uh, you see the, the title tags, uh, title links, the content that we put in on the back end of the website. Look at that, duplicate title, right? So we want to address that. But then everything should be basically unique. Uh, so that's a great tool to check your title links and make sure you avoid having duplicate content back there. All right, back to the article here. Then uh let me see let me see what's important here um all right how does google create these title links well they look at the content that you put on the back end of your website so let's do a search for um let me see seo company Oh boy, I cannot spell anymore. All right, again, so you, up here we have the, uh, the paid ads for the search term SEO company Boulder. That's a local map pack listing. 
this is a directory and check this out. Um, so we have a listing here that's the web the, the home page and then we have um the the boulder seo location page your local seo company in boulder we can help why don't we take a look at the back end of this page so i'm going to head over to my browser um, then I'm going to click on edit page. So this will now take me to the back end of the uh, of our WordPress um, site here. And then basically here, uh, this is the SEO plugin that we're using. This is where you want to put your page title or title tag site link information as you can see it the google took exactly what we put on the back end of this page welcome to your local seo company boulder type we can help so you want to stay between 50 and 60 characters that gives you a really good chance that google will take that content one for one then Google may grab text from header ones if they don't like what you put in in the, the title element there. Uh, all the content that's large and prominent throughout the use of styles, H1s, H2s, etc. So basically familiarize yourself with how Google creates these title links. Uh, they're extremely important because I think people will most likely make a decision on what uh, you know page they're going to click on by reading the title links. So this is a great opportunity for you to optimize those title links and then hopefully get more people to your website if you show up at the top in Google. Uh, I hope you learned something new and that this was useful and I will talk to you uh, very soon. Thanks again. Chris Rolf here with Boulder SEO Marketing. Bye.